Have you ever gotten into a car during the summer that smells like socks when you turn on the air conditioning? And I don't mean clean socks. Here's something I've been meaning to video for ages, right? I just got into this Santa Fe and I remember seeing this on Tucson. Sorry, on Kona when it came out. So you see here, the fan is flashing. I literally just got into the car and it was turned off and the fan is flashing and the fan's actually running. So anyway, the reason for this is to do with the air conditioning in your car. So one of the sections of the air conditioning system is a mechanism that's uh, called an evaporator. We don't currently have a car stripped, so at the moment I'm going to show you in a low-tech fashion. The evaporator is here, and this is the blower. This is what pushes the air into the cabin. Air conditioning systems rely on a refrigerant to be put into them, so that can be put in at a factory level or using machines like the one I just showed you. So once it's put into the car, eventually it'll end up in the evaporator. When the air conditioning is turned on in the car, basically the refrigerant that entered as a liquid is turned into a gas in the evaporator, and that causes cooling. So think about it this way. The air is coming into the evaporator. The air that goes into the evaporator basically is exposed to the refrigerant. The refrigerant drags all the humidity and the warmth out of that air. It leaves the evaporator and gets pushed out into your cabin. And now it's drier and uh, cooler than it was before it entered. So the byproduct... <laughs> that sounds way worse than it is because the workshop's really empty. Um, there's basically uh, condensate as the byproduct of the process and that will collect on the evaporator coil. Um, but you'll also see, you know, when you see water draining out from underneath your car when the air conditioner's on, that's what that is as well. So let's get a bit more high end specific. So basically there's the after blow process. So if you remember what I filmed at the start, where the fan was on even though the car was turned off, that's the after blow process. So how the after blow process works, the first, how the after blow process works even, uh, the first thing is basically it will allow the condensate just to drain naturally for about 30 minutes. After that time, uh, it has a battery sensor, so it uh, checks to make sure that there's a sufficient amount of capacity in the battery to run the afterblow system. Secondly, it'll also check to make sure you've been using the air conditioning, because there's no point in doing it if you haven't been using the air conditioning. And it also makes sure that the outside temperatures aren't too low. It then starts the fan and runs the fan for 10 minutes to dry any remaining condensate from the evaporator coil. Um, and the reason it does this is, and this comes back to the smelly socks thing, if the water isn't cleared off that sufficiently, it can eventually lead to mold, um, mold growth in there. And you know, nothing good happens after that. So um, it's really to reduce odors. So it's drying that uh, evaporator coil and it's drying the air passage uh, that leads to it as well. Um, so it's a really useful feature. And uh, hopefully after watching the video, you have a better idea of what it's all about. Thanks so many for watching.